Hey everyone, today I'm at Sleep Sherpa in San Diego and a lot of times customers come into our store wanting to buy one of our adjustable beds and uh, they just aren't too sure how it all integrates with the rest of their furniture. So today I just want to show you how easy it is to A, set up an adjustable bed and then B, what types of furniture are compatible with an adjustable bed. So I have the E255 from Maloof, which is their one of their entry-level adjustables as well as the Eastman bed, also from Maloof. So these two are designed to integrate perfectly with each other. That said, if you do have a different bed, most adjustable beds will be compatible. What I like about Maloof is that most of their adjustable beds do have zero clearance. So instead of just resting it on its legs, you can rest it directly on a platform bed. And I'm gonna illustrate that. So first we're gonna set up the bed and then the adjustable show you how easy that is, and then we'll circle back with any final thoughts. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. All I did was basically take everything out of the packaging. Uh, there was two bolts on each end of the frame here. They give you an Allen wrench, which is included. And all you do is you're just gonna screw each side rail into the end. So all that's really left for me to do is put the center support in with the legs and then roll the slats out onto the frame. Uh, the slats are actually Velcro. So you don't need any screws or tools, you just lay them across and you're good to go. So super easy to set up. Um, and then after that, we're gonna put in the E255. Okay, so I just wanna call out a few extra pieces and these are just the final steps for setting up the base. Uh, so you have the legs that are gonna go attached to the center support and then you have levelers, which you screw into the bottom here. So if your floor is on level, you can adjust that up or down. They do recommend about a quarter of an inch off the ground to start. And then uh, you do have some uh, screws, which you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. That's just to attach uh, the middle slats so they don't really go anywhere. But other than that, uh, pretty fairly easy process. So we're gonna finish this up and then come back. Now that we've got the bed set up, the next step is to install the adjustable bed. This is the E255, like I said, very easy process. Obviously, you don't even have to put the legs on. It is at zero clearance. So we're just gonna put it right on the bed, plug it in, and then I'm gonna come back and demo it for you.
Okay, so we've got the bed set up and we put the E255 frame in. And as you can see, it literally just sinks right in there, uh, completely zero profile. It's ready for a mattress to go on it. But before we put the mattress on, I do want to demo how it'll look. So it comes with this nice little remote, very simple buttons, so you don't have to fumble at night to figure things out. Uh, you, the best option here would obviously be zero gravity. It's a nice preset, takes the most pressure off your body. Um, great for reading, great for back sleeping, um, helps with blood circulation, a lot of benefits to this position. So that's pre-programmed right in there and you'll notice that it just lifts right off the bed frame. And if you want to go flat, there is a button in the middle to make it go flat. We also have an anti-snore mode, which is also preset. So that's just going to tilt my head up slightly, help clear out my airways. And of course, you can articulate the top of the bed or the bottom. You can do head and foot separate. So we're just going to bring this up about as far as it's going to go so you have an idea of the maximum amount of articulation you get with your head and your foot. So as you can see, when we're getting about here, this is probably the max you'd want anyways, because you are going to have a mattress still coming out. Um, I mean, you're almost, you're getting close to 90 at that point. And then if we bring up the legs again, um, you're only going to want to go so high before you're really not getting, there's diminishing returns. But Maloof does a good job of having a really nice range of motion. And we'll bring that back down to flat. It's a nice, quiet motor an extremely aggressive price point. It's got the foot bar so that as you raise it, it'll catch your mattress so it doesn't slide off. Uh, so come on over to sleepsherpa.com, try it out yourself. We'd be happy to explain some of the features to you and head over to sleepsherpa.com for the latest review.